Hey guys, welcome to another video where you watch me install PFSense on another piece of hardware. Today we have a Lenovo Idea Center Q150. The important specs here that it's a Atom D525 processor with two cores and hyper threading. And the system has two gigs of memory. Now what is not listed here is the four USB type 2 ports. This is important because we're going to try and utilize these ports later on. I've gone ahead and opened up the system and removed the original hard drive. You'll notice that I've taped the hard drive screws onto the hard drive itself. This is so I won't lose them. I've, I've done this a number of times and it's very easy to lose these little screws. Now I've done the same thing with the uh, top cover. I've taped the screws here as well. It makes it easy when I'm putting things back, easy to find. I've already gone ahead and installed the 120 gig uh, Kingston SSD drive. Now the original drive that was in here was really noisy along with the uh, CPU fan. I'm hoping this combination makes the uh, system a little bit more quiet. Let's take a closer look here. We have a couple of USB ports on this side. And if we flip it over, we got a couple more here. Uh, we'll probably end up uh, installing the USB to Ethernet on this side. Now because the onboard uh, network uh, port is not recognized by PFSense, we're not going to just install one USB to Ethernet adapter, we're going to install two. I've gone ahead and unpacked these. Um, they feel extremely light, I hope that's not an indication of the quality. Let's uh, plug in the uh, first one. And let's plug in the other one now. And that's it for the hardware side of things. Next, let's go to the PFSense site and download the uh, latest version. I'm going to select AMD64 for the architecture. And for the installer, I'm going to choose USB Memstick. And for the console, I will choose VGA. While PFSense is downloading, let's go to Google and search for a program called Rufus. Rufus is uh, a disk imaging program. It allows us to take the uh, PFSense installer and put it on a USB stick. I have copied PFSense and Rufus to my desktop. What I need to do next is uncompress the PFSense downloaded file because it's in a compressed format. I will right click on it uh, with 7-zip and simply drag it out uh, onto my desktop. From this point uh, we will use Rufus to write this file to the USB stick. I have my USB key already inserted onto the system and I'm ready to select my boot device at this point. And I will be choosing all the default options for PFSense.
The uh, system has rebooted and it's now starting the second phase of the installation. Again, I will be choosing all the default options. We reach the uh, point where we need to assign our WAN interface. I will plug in our internet cable so the link could go up so we can identify it. And everything looks good at this point. We are ready to log in through the uh, web GUI. I will be logging in with admin and PF sends as the password. And again, I will be using all the defaults. We can see that the uh, crypto features are not supported with this specific processor, but our thermal sensors seem to be working. All right, let's do a little web browsing to test things out and things look good. The uh, traffic graph shows traffic and I think that's where we will end things today. Uh, on a follow up video, I will be doing some performance testing with these uh, USB Ethernet adapters. So please subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching.